Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amy here, and today we're looking at a different way to do and support the 100. Um, again, we're using the TheraBand to create that tensegrity feel, that um, feeling that we should have anyway without the TheraBand, but for a lot of people, it's really hard for them to um, feel their extremities reaching out and reaching back in. And that's, that's the idea here. We want to create that um, compression through our center and we want to be able to extend out of that compression but still have that compression. And the TheraBand helps us find that. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a different wrap here because we want the TheraBands on the outside of the legs. So we're starting with the TheraBand on the bottom of the foot and we're wrapping around. Good, and we want to get this pretty taut. And then I'm going to hand that to Amy. You can, again, if you have a longer TheraBand, do more than one wrap. So from here, I just want Amy to do a roll down, keeping her heels on the floor, her legs long. All right. And this will be our dry run because um, Amy actually has not done the hundreds yet with the TheraBand. So uh, what this will be a learning experience because she might want a little bit more tension on the TheraBand or a little bit less. So she'll bring her legs up into a tabletop position. Good, her elbows start down onto the floor. Yep, she can wrap her hands. And then on her exhale, she's gonna roll into her hundreds position. So she'll come right to the tips of her shoulder blades, extend the legs out to what height she feels is comfortable, and then slowly come back down bending her knees. Did that tension feel okay for you? Yeah. All right. So again, on the exhale, she's going to come into her hundreds position. Her arms lengthen, her legs lengthen, her arms come down to her side, and she starts to pump. So she inhales two, three, four, five, exhale, bringing the legs into the pelvis. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Keep going. I want you to feel like your head is going back and up to the corner of the ceiling behind you as you keep reinforcing the front ribs into the back ribs. Good. Now see if you can drop your tail down to the floor just the tiniest bit. Good. And now on her next exhale, slowly, slowly bend back in, release and rest for a moment. Good, that was great. And so my cues for her, especially since she had that support of the TheraBand, now I can get into those little finer details. Another thing that I was noticing on Amy, just like when we have our feet and straps on reformers, we have that floor of the strap to inform us of what our feet are doing. And so we want to use the TheraBands in that way too. So. Um, we don't have time to do an, another little round of this, but Amy's right foot was really kind of pronating. So if I had time to do another round, uh, I would bring a different focus um, to the exercise by maybe cueing more of her feet. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.